Hey everyone, this is Allison with Stitches and Stuff Studio. I'm trying an experiment today to see if I can do a detailed fold with the soda ash technique. Let's see how it works. First, I'm starting the fold with a t-shirt that's inside out because this will eventually be an ice die. And I'm folding it in half using the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique. After working carefully to smooth out all of the wrinkles and make sure the edges are lined up nice and neat, I'll use a ruler to mark off two inch increments from the center of the shirt just below the armhole seam line. Then I'll use a piece of kite string and a washable marker to draw half circle arcs using the two inch spaced dots as a guide. I'll pleat along one of the lines, making sure that all the pleats stay about a half an inch tall and the blue guideline is nice and straight. Then I'll use kite string to snug up the pleats and tie up the shirt nice and neat. I'm using the same ruler to mark two parallel lines down the center of the shirt and then marking off dots every two inches for the wigwag lines. The real trick is checking back and forth between the two sides to make sure the pattern lines up on the front and the back. are drawn and now it's time for the dye. Today I'm using clear yellow, tangerine, imperial purple, turquoise, and robin's egg blue. For each of the dye colors I mixed one quarter cup soda ash 
and two teaspoons of dye in a small squeeze bottle. Several of the dye powders are slightly clumpy, so I just snipped the tip of the bottle off to make the opening at the top slightly larger. I'm using the pink lines as my guide and applying imperial purple right down the middle. The wig part of the shirt will get tangerine and clear yellow, while the wag portion of the shirt will get turquoise and robin's egg blue. All of the dye has been applied and now it's time for the ice barrier. I'm using several pieces of silicone cake mold that I found on Amazon to act as an ice barrier. I'm also using the dye bottles to help the ice barrier stay in place. I'll carefully lay down one layer of ice and then put a second layer on top of the first layer. melting now for about an hour and we don't see much happening yet. It's been about four hours since I laid down the ice and we're starting to see some more bits of fabric peeking through. Once all the ice is melted, I'll flip the shirt over and reapply the dye powder and the ice to the back. Once all the ice is melted, I'll let the shirt batch for about 48 hours and then do the rinse out. It's been about 48 hours since the ice finished melting and it's time for the rinse out. I'm starting with cool water and I'll keep rinsing until the water runs mostly clear. After that, it's off to the washing machine for a warm wash with some fabric detergent. We'll be back when the shirt's dry to take a final look. So here it is. What do you think? <laughs> I almost called this video 
and the light shines forth from the alien spacecraft. But that title seemed a bit long, so I'm just calling it Soda Ash Wigwag. But it really does look like there's a light shining out of something ominous. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and helping me grow my channel. Please share this uh, video with your friends who might be interested in tie-dye and help me grow my channel even more. I really appreciate you being on this journey with me. Until next time, go add some color to your world and create a tie-dye project.